obviously retire your oper operational system from handling this historical data. If you have a data warehouse ready and responsive, if your customer asks for something, instead of querying your operational system, you will query your data warehouse and then give them the report. So each source system is often a natural stovepipe application, which uh, where little investment has made has been made to share common data such as product, customer, geography, or calendar with other operational systems in the organization. So it would be great. Oh, Hilal dropped out, and I hear there is a noise from one of you. Uh, who is that? Guys, there is a little noise from one of you. Oh, it was Syed. Syed, there is kind of a little voice from your end. So I muted you. Just in case you have any question, just ping me on the chat so that I answer you. Oh, I see someone has... Uh... Okay, I am on mute. Okay. Perfect. Now I, I don't have that noise. That was from uh, Syed, I think. So, so I'm trying to talk about uh, operational source systems. It would be great if your source systems were being re-engineered with a, with a consistent view. So, all we are talking about the operational systems so far. So, let us keep doing and we will understand in a better way. Such an enterprise application integration effort will make the data warehouse design task far easier. So, an enterprise application integration, which we, I was telling about data services, it is an EIM, Enterprise Information Management port, uh, Portal Tool. It is the same way enterprise application integration. So, when we have the integration appliance sitting there, what will happen is, whenever the transaction occurs in a source system, it will be immediately, the refresh intervals are very fast. In every one minute, it will keep refreshing your data warehouse or every five minutes, ten minutes. If it is the most uh, important application, they integrate it with to reflect every minute. Like Amazon, their order processing system is very fast. When you make an order here, immediately it will be processed, sent to the shipping company. You will get an email, you can monitor it. How they are able to do? It is all about integrating their applications. So now comes the second part, data staging area. Let us see what is staging area. I talked about it and now we will have to do a deep dive about the staging area. Because this is where the ETL is required entirely. It is not about extracting data or loading data. It is about the staging area where you transform the data for your business needs. So, you have to, you have to be very focused now to understand the staging area. The data staging area of a data warehouse is both a storage area and a set of process commonly referred to the extract, transformation and load. So this is the storage area for a data warehouse. You are going to first stage the data before you load it into data warehouse. The data staging area is everything between the operational system and the data presentation area. So as I told you the presentation area is the data warehouse actually. Whereas the operational system, this is, a, the staging is the one which bridges, so it has everything between an operational system and a data presentation area. It is somewhat analogous to the kitchen of a restaurant, where raw food products are transformed into a final meal. In the data warehouse, raw operational data is transformed into a warehouse deliverable fit for use, query and consumption. So, he actually, Kimball itself gave an apt example. It makes my life easier. He says, this is kind of a kitchen of a restaurant. You have lot of items in kitchen. You have, you have fish, you have goat, you have chicken, you have vegetables. But there one, there one, there should be one chef who makes the recipe. There should be uh, one uh, cook who cuts the vegetables and then uh, does the cooking for us. Finally, the presentation layer, someone has to take that bowl and serve you on your plate. Only then you can eat. It is the same then. The data staging area is, is the happening place. It is your kitchen. So similar to restaurant kitchen, the back room data staging area is accessible only to the skilled professionals. So as a customer, you cannot go into kitchen and then uh, 
do it yourself or or uh, try to uh, do anything in there it is only you are a customer you should wait in the front office uh, wait to be seated and uh, order for the meal you are no way accessible to this area what it means is staging area is not the area where you should allow queries or where the business user should look in no way they sh- cannot touch a staging place a data warehouse kitchen staff is busy preparing meals and simultaneously cannot be responding to customer enquiries so there is a separate person who will respond for the customer queries who will say do you have this can you add little more salt and pepper can you make it spicier that is the person of the waiter he will take care of it so data warehouse kitchen staff which are the developers won't answer those questions we keep cooking that's all the business analyst is a person who has to answer these questions and the smes are the person who has to answer the business people so customers aren't invited to eat in the kitchen in the same way your why we stay make this statement is customers are invited only to eat in the restaurant in your front sitting area not in the kitchen so what it mean in the technical term is business users have no access to staging area period business users cannot do any querying cannot do any uh, reports cannot do anything in the staging area it is developer's own play area you cannot ask a developer why are you doing this it is his kitchen finally when he puts it to the plate it should look good for the customer to eat it certainly isn't safe for the customer to wander in the kitchen so what he means is you should i mean this is actually literally taken from uh, ralph kimball toolkit guys so he himself explained it as a kitchen so that people understand it easily so we wouldn't want our data warehouse customers to be injured by dangerous equipment hot surfaces or uh, sharp knives they may encounter in the kitchen so we prohibit them accessing from the staging area so which means while you are loading into the truck you have no access to the items while you are cleaning them you have no access to the items you already gave it to a professional team who is going to do it for you the packers and movers you cannot question a packer and mover why is he wrapping it in a cloth because it is a fragile item no one can query the staging area the conclusion i mean the business users cannot query it besides things happen in the kitchen that the customer just should be privy uh, should be privy to do so this is the staging area if you look at it this is how the staging area will look it is totally data 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 so it is acceptable to create a normalized database to support the staging process that is very important which means the source database and staging database are going to be a similar they are going to be in the same normalized form like the normal form 3 is the most uh, least advisor thing for for a operational transactional system so it is acceptable to create the normalized database to support the staging process so while you stage the data you don't do anything just get the data stage it there it is a raw data so if you look at the data it is going to look like this heaps and heaps everything is data now normalized database are excluded from the presentation area so this normalized staging area no business user can touch it that is the conclusion so extraction is the first step in the process of getting data into the data warehouse environment so first thing what you now we are going to do actually a close look at the data we are going to transform the data finally load load the data so first we will have to do the extraction process because you don't have any control on the source system so extraction is the first step in the process of getting data into a data warehouse environment once the data is extracted in the staging area there are numerous potential transformations such as cleansing and and and, uh, and data the data combining the data from multiple sources so you'll have to do correcting misspellings resolving domain conflicts uh, dealing with the missed elements parsing into standard format all you'll have to do in your source sorry in your staging area So, stay, so the staging area is the most important and the complex most thing in the data warehouse environment deduplicating the data and assigning warehouse keys deduplicating what is deduplicating actually you will have to understand one thing 
if you have a crm system and a hr system and a production system but the customer can be the same there you can have redundant customer across all this business for example you are selling your products through ebay amazon and also your own website you have customers buying it from all these three website where the customer is the same so the customer can be an amazon customer he bought your products he can be a ebay customer but still he brought bought your product he is your customer and he bought it on your own website but when you move it into the data warehouse you should identify a customer as one person and then put him into the warehouse that is where the surrogate key comes into picture assigning a warehouse key is giving him an unique identifier a customer can be duplicate duplicate in sense is he is a real customer but then he is there more than one systems more than one source points for you so what you are trying to do is deduplicate dedupe him and then assign the warehouse keys these transformations are all precursors to loading the data into the data warehouse presentation area so whatever you are doing in the in the in the staging area or the the precursors these are the important things that you load before you load the data into or oh, data warehouse or the presentation area you will have to do all this process before you you at least touch for the presentation loading the data warehouse environment usually takes the the form of presenting the quality assured dimensional tables to the bulk loading facilities of each data mart okay that is totally technical so what we you can say is the quality assurance you will have to qu quantify the data and and the quality has to be having a norm saying the data is qualified and you should be also having a bulk load capacity load in the data mart what is a bulk load we'll come to that in a uh, in a later part it is more about loading the historical data all at once historical data you don't do by transaction by transaction you dump everything at a time it is more like when you are moving into your home the bedroom is going to be dumped with all the items from your single from your apartment into your single family home later on when the new items come in you will keep adding them in a proper way so first is historical load you will not have any constraints on your table load everything and then start applying constraints when you get new new items that's how it is so the target data mart must then index the newly arrived data for query performance so that is where the indexing is required indexing is required for the newly arrived data so that the query can perform best you are the user accessing a library if it is indexed properly you can access the library easily so when each data mart has been freshly loaded indexed supplied with appropriate aggregates and further quality assured so you should also take care of this right each data mart which you loaded has to be indexed it should be supplied with appropriate aggregates i mean it should the group by functions are already should be there it is data in multi dimensional array so you uh, have it in an aggregated format you will not have a very lower level of granularity as you have in a transactional system it is more of a summary data it will not have the data in the same way as you have in a transactional system so publish the data and finally notify the users after you do all this after you quantify qualify you are going to move it into the data warehouse and then publish the data after you publish the data you will ask user to have a look at it on the dashboard on the scorecard on the on the report which you are providing so this is the entire process of extract transform and load publishing includes communicating the nature of any changes that have occurred in the underlying dimensions and new assumptions that have been introduced into the measures or calculated fact you will have to. now comes the data presentation the important layer the final layer which business is going to look at it they are not worried how you do the staging how you uh, load the data into warehouse all they are bothered about is data presentation so this is the actual permitted area in the queryable presentation area of data warehouse must be dimensional must be atomic and must adhere to the data warehouse bus architecture so this is the queryable area for the business data presentation layer is important let us see the data presentation area is where data is organized stored and made available for direct